Good morning, I'm Dr. Mary Ann Gilbert, and I've been asked today to share with you a little bit about my professional journey. It started back in the 1970s when I was a student at Cal State Fullerton, and I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. So I searched around and I found communication disorders, and I thought I wanted to be a speech pathologist. Those are the people who work with little kids practicing their speech sounds. I found out that wasn't really for me. But the sister profession of audiology was very appealing, and I decided to get my master's in audiology. In 1978, I graduated with my master's, and I was lucky enough to be offered a position at the prestigious House Air Clinic. To be honest, I wasn't sure I wanted to take that position. I had an 18-month-old daughter at home. I was going to be going from Anaheim to L.A. five days a week. But my family was very supportive, and I'm really glad I did. I had the privilege of working with some of the best ear specialists in the world. Dr. Howard House, Dr. Bill House, Dr. James Sheehy, Dr. Daryl Brackman, Dr. Linthicum, Dr. De La Cruz. And what I learned back in those years at the House Air Clinic, I carry today forward in my clinical work. And it's made me the clinical audiologist I am today. I left the House Air Clinic in the early 1980s to have my son, and I took a few years off from professional work while I raised a family. When I was ready to go back into audiology, I really did some soul searching, and I decided I didn't want to continue in clinical audiology. I wanted instead to move over to rehabilitative audiology. I was excited by the technology that was improving in hearing aids and how I could help people have a better quality of life, how they didn't have to live with the hearing problems. In February 1983, I joined Whittier Hearing Center, bringing audiology to Whittier and the San Gabriel Valley. I was the first audiologist in the Whittier area. And that meant that people no longer had to drive to L.A. to get their clinical services done. In 1990, my then partner, Dr. Oscar Naro, and I purchased the practice. And there were only four of us, Dr. Naro, myself, and two front people. And we were helping about 20 or 30 people a month. And we were very excited about doing that. However, over the years, we've been blessed with being able to grow the practice. We now have five doctors of audiology. We have a staff of 15 to serve our community. About six years ago, Dr. Naro decided to take early retirement, and Dr. Kim Ortega joined the team in the ownership role. Today, I serve as Director of Clinical Audiology. She serves as Director of Rehabilitative Audiology. Back in 1983, I was in my 30s, and so was Dr. Naro, and we were just starting out. And it was that young energy that got us going and helped us grow the practice. Today, Dr. Ortega has a fantastic team of people, young people who are in their 30s, who are excited about what they can do to help people hear better and have a better quality of life. And they're continuing the legacy of Whittier Hearing Center so that as you move forward in the future, they will be here to serve you. Mm -hmm.